Hi friends, it's me, Miss Beatty in our library. Now that you're back at school, we have a special way of checking books out. And that is by using these cards. So I have some of the cards right here. And um, what you're going to do is basically like if you were going to order food um, and have it delivered to your house. So you're ordering books from our library and I will deliver to your classroom door and I'll just leave it right outside to kind of like a porch drop off and then you get to bring them inside and read the books. You need to ask your teacher whether you are going to take the books home this week or another week. Um, maybe you want to get into a routine of practicing returning the books and getting the books at school before you take them home and have to remember to bring them all the way back. But I do want to remind you that we are a library, not a bookstore. So you're not buying the books to keep. You're checking them out to borrow. And then you want to return them. Because if other people want to read Dog Man Unleashed, then we have to bring it back so that somebody else can have them. So the way this is going to work is it kind of looks like a phone with a lot of icons or apps on it. But these are different topics about your books. So at the top, it says your name, and then I've circled whether you are group A or group B. And sometimes we might get to a point where you write your own name and you circle group A or group B. And then you're going to look through at the pictures and the words and circle up to three pictures that you want books about. Now, I know it's shiny, but some of them are Elephant and Piggy, Baby Yoda, Superheroes, books from around the world, uh, Pete the Cat, dragons, different animals, like zoo animals versus farm animals, cooking books. So if you are got into cooking at home during this time, you need some new cookbooks, we've got you covered. And then you can also see it says, well, I don't know if you can see that, but it says, I can read. So if your teacher tells you that you need to pick one just right book, then select that one. And we will, I'll talk to your teacher about getting you a book that is at your reading level as best we can. Um, it also has some different series on it like Dragon Masters, which is a short illustrated chapter book series, and Press Start, which is kind of written like a game, like a comic game. It has Super Rabbit Boy in it. So if you remember those, those ones are good. And Fly Guy, which is a great first grade chapter book to be reading. But it has space, dinosaurs, sports. And so you can pick up just three. If you have a specific request, like you're saying, Miss Beatty, I want Rosa Parks. I want to read about Rosa Parks or Dog Man. Then there's a line down at the bottom where you can write on there what your special request is. And you can say, Miss Beatty, I need the green Dog Man or I need a book about Rosa Parks. And I will go find those for you because I can't fit all 9,000 of our book topics on here. That would be too tiny to read and too many pages. So you just pick what's on here. And if you have a special request that's not there, write it down at the bottom, okay? And then you're gonna give it back to your teacher. Your teacher will give it to me. I have a special bin that I keep them in in the library. It has a spot for group B and group A. And then I will have your books ready for you probably the next day that you are here in person. So where none of us are here back to back, but so if you order on Monday, you'll get it on Thursday. And if you order on Tuesday, you get it on Friday, probably. Now, some of you have been really good at using our catalog online, logging in and putting books on hold and coming to the outside door to pick up your library books. You can still put books on hold that way. If you would rather do that, and you sit at home and you have your computer and you put books on hold that way, I will get you the books that you request that way versus the ones you put on the card. But you can only, I'm only going to check out two books for every student, okay? So you're picking three things on the card, but I'm only gonna give you two books, okay? So everybody gets two books. Now, if you only bring one book back, how many books can I check out to you next time? Right, one book, because you can only have two books out at a time. If you already have books checked out that you have not brought back, maybe from last year, maybe from a couple months ago when you came to do checkout at the door, please bring those back to your classroom teacher. There's a cardboard box right outside your classroom door and you can put your books right there, 
okay? Um, so please bring the books back, whether they're from last year or this year, however that works, but you get new books on the condition that you bring books back. So if you check out, we check out the first time and then the books don't come back from home, I cannot give you new books the next time, okay? We really need to get practicing again that library is about bringing them here and then bringing them home and then bringing them back and taking them home and bringing them back and go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Okay, I'm going to stop talking because you need to check out books and pick out what books you want so I can get them for you. But I hope you're having a great day. I'm so glad that you guys are happy and back and you guys are doing a great job wearing your masks over your nose and under your chin. I'm loving what I see in the hallway. So awesome job. And I can't wait to get you library books. Bye friends.